Welcome to part 2 of the seahorse tutorial. In this video we'll do the snout, the coronet, the fins and the assembly of the seahorse. First we'll do the snout in the primary colour. In round 1, we do 6 single crochet in a magic ring. In round 2, we'll be working in the back loops only. And we'll do 6 single crochet around. Now working in both loops again, for the next two rounds we just do six single crochet around. Now we can close with a slip stitch. Cut the yarn making sure to leave a tail for sewing. Now we can stuff the snout. Next we are doing the coronet, which is the frilly bit on top of the head. To start, do a slip knot and then chain 28. For the next part of the tutorial, I'm first going to show you the stitches using this yarn as it's easier to see. I've already chained 28 and now we find the fourth chain from the hook and do a slip stitch into here. Then in the next chain stitch we do a single crochet. Now I'm going to show you how we do the pico stitch. So the pico is chain 3, and then we are going to go through these two loops from that single crochet we did before the chain. And you go through the side like so, yarn over and pull through and then yarn over again and pull through both loops on the hook. Now you have just done a pico stitch. Then we slip stitch into the next chain stitch of your foundation chain. So let's do that again. So we start with a single crochet and if you're finding it hard to find those two loops, you can actually just put a stitch marker in there after doing the base single crochet. And then for the pico, you do the three chain stitches, and then you go through those two loops that are marked. Yarn over, pull through a loop, and then yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook. 
and then finish with a slip stitch. Now we are going to do the same thing with our plush yarn. So we've chained 28, then in the fourth chain from the hook we do a slip stitch. Now we do a single crochet in the next chain stitch. And then we do the pico. So that's three chain stitches. And then we go through those two loops of that single crochet over there. Yarn over, pull through a loop, and then yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook. Then we do a slip stitch into that next chain stitch. Now going down the chain, you'll repeat that another 11 times. So that's the single crochet, the pico, and then the slip stitch. Remember, you can use a stitch marker in that base single crochet if you wish. And now here's the last single crochet, pico and slip stitch. Now we can cut the yarn, making sure to leave enough yarn for sewing. Your completed coronet should have 12 of these frills. And then a little frill at the end from the chain stitches. Next we are going to do the fins and you will need to make two of these. First start with a slip knot and then chain three. We are going to be working in the third chain from the hook which is the first chain that you did. And now we make three double crochet into this same chain stitch. So there's the first double crochet, 
and now the second. And now the third. Chain one and then turn your work. So we will now be working back across those three double crochet that we did. And into each of those double crochet, we will do two single crochet. Because we had three double crochet and now we are doing two single crochet in each of them, that gives us six single crochet here. Now we can cut the yarn, making sure that we have enough to sew on later. Remember, you will be making two of these fins. It's time to do the assembly, and I like to start with the snout. Take the yarn tail from the magic ring, and then insert that where you want it to go on the head. I like to put it one or two rounds below the eyes, right in the middle. Bring that yarn tail through to the back and then we will sew the snout on with the long tail. Once you have the snout in place, grab a stitch from the head and then go up into a stitch of the snout. And then down into the next stitch of the snout. And grab the next stitch of the head. And repeat this all the way around the snout. Once you've gone all the way around, insert the yarn under the snout, to the back of the head, to the same place as the first piece of yarn. Then you can tie these together and cut them short and insert the knot into the piece. Now we can sew on the coronet. And I like to start at the nape of the neck and then place it along the head and then if you like you can just hold it in place with a couple of pins to make sure you don't go skew. Once you have it in place, you can take the short yarn tail and insert that at the nape of the neck and pull it through to the front. Now we can sew it on using the long tail. Insert the long tail right at the nape of the neck and bring it up a few stitches. Then 
grab a stitch from the coronet going through to the other side and then go back into that same stitch on the head and once again go up a few stitches and then grab another stitch from the coronet. I don't go into every single stitch of the coronet as I find every few stitches is enough. Once the whole coronet is sewed on, you can insert the yarn back to the same place as the first piece and just tie them together. Now we can sew on the fins. Start with the yarn tail from the slip knot. Insert this at the side of the body about halfway down. Then take the long tail and weave that through the fin to get back to the bottom of the fin. Then you can do a few stitches into the body to keep the fin in place. If you like, you can also add another stitch to keep the fin flat on the body. Now you can knot those two yarn tails together. Now the fin should look like this. Remember you can add another stitch if you would like it flat up against the body. Now we will do the second fin exactly the same way. Now your completed seahorse should look like this. Thanks so much for watching the seahorse tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.